G'day football fans and welcome back to episode 21 of our West Ham United career mode here on Dylan on the Ball. Today we are taking on Manchester City in the Premier League to decide the Premier League. We are ahead of them by, I mean, currently by 12 points that uh, you'll see, basically, you'll see. If we win today against Pep Guardiola's side, we win the Premier League title. It's only our second year here at West Ham United and we are on the verge of greatness, basically. Before we get into it, I'll just remind you guys, please leave us a like down below. Why not? What's wrong with it? There's nothing, it doesn't take any, it's free. Subscribe as well. It's also free if you haven't, I mean, subscribe, comment down below what you think of the video. I'm also about to go through something with you that you might also want to comment on. And that is, I think this is our last season of this series. We've won the Conference League two, two Carabao Cups? Conference League two Carabao Cups. We're on the verge of winning the Premier League. We might get to the, the final and win the Europa League in our second season now. So maybe that's that's where we ended because we don't want to just go on to next season and, you know, win the Premier League, winning all 38 games because, I mean, naturally progressing. That seems to be where we're heading. So in the comments down below, let me know what you reckon. Should we go ahead with another season with West Ham? Should we rebuild another Premier League side? Should we go abroad, like do a, I don't know, get get a Leipzig to win the Bundesliga or someone else uh, to, to take over from Bayern Munich's reign or someone in Ligue 1 to make sure that PSG don't win yet again? Or maybe you'd like to see me take over a fallen giant like a, like a Valencia, you know, someone who at, at one stage was so brilliant with, you know, the David Villa days for, for Valencia. Or maybe maybe Villarreal now that they've got rid of Unai Emery. Or, well, got rid of is probably not the right word, is it? Because he it was his choice, wasn't it? They've lost Unai Emery. <laughs> maybe that's better. I don't know. Let me know what you reckon. Should we... We could go to Italy as well. That's another option. Serie A is one that I've loved watching this season. Maybe we'd want to win it. I'm put off a little bit by the team with no names like the the teams with incorrect names but let me know what you guys want to see and i'm more than happy to see what we can do basically i'm i'm, I'm keen on just developing and moving forward with a new team see how we get on basically starting next week as well we'll have football managers starting up so i've been doing four videos a week we're going to split it in half to fifa to football manager so whoever it is that we choose for our next career mode on fifa they'll start in line with this football manager one and it'll be like tuesdays and saturdays fifa thursdays and sundays football manager basically or that's what i'll try to stick to anyway it, things happen you know uh, it is what it is if i don't stick to that i'm sorry basically if you feel like it as well you can let me know down below who you reckon i should go for on football manager just make sure if you're giving me an idea of a new fifa season like de de like separate them like let me know which is for which who should be the fifa who should be the football manager which one's more fun whatever you reckon basically just let me know anyway that's enough rambling let's get through to the highlights there's been four games since you were last here three in the premier league one in the europa league let's see how we've got on series of one goal games gets underway here with gonzalo plata being absolutely through and clear against fulham away at craven cottage he gets us all three points it, look, that's all that I can really say about it. He's through. He finishes at near post. Keeper can't do much when he's that exposed. We then went away to the Emirates and Arsenal old boy Gabriel Martinelli slides it through for Skamaka, who just beautifully dinks it over Ramsdale. His first touch here to control it does really take it in close to the keeper. Just manages to get there. Dink it over him. Puts us up 1-0 and we get all three points. Then most recently in the Premier League, we took on Burnley and in the 87th minute, it's Mikel Antonio. He gives us all three points here, which sets up today's title decider against Manchester City, who are in second. What a man, what a moment. Incredible, just incredible. Then most recently, it was Marseille away and Martinelli nearly sets us off in the best way possible, but instead it comes back off the post through to Jacob Ramsey, who's following in like a great striker, taps it into an empty net to put us up 1-0. We then go up 2-0. It is Martinelli, I think, on the left, maybe, setting up Jared Bowen. The keeper gets a touch to this. You'll see from the second view, Bowen actually hits it down into the ground. Keeper gets a touch, can't actually keep it out. So we take a 2-0 lead into the second leg at home. I don't think that one's worth watching, really. I think we'll just play this one against City, then skip ahead to the final, I reckon. Confirmation here then of the 2-0 win over Marseille, we take a two-goal lead back to the London Stadium. 
I'm sure we'll progress. I'm, I'm dead sure we will. I mean, if we don't, next video is going to be a bit abrupt and sad, but you know, it is what it is. It looks like at this point we'll be facing Sporting Club Portugal, but I mean, anything could happen. Wolf Swerk could come back. We'll see how we get on. You'll see that next video. I imagine the next video will be the last of the series. It'll be the final of the Europa League. Then on to more pressing matters, and we have got Manchester City today. They're in second. They're one game behind us. If they were to win that, they'd then be on 78 points, which is only nine points behind us. But then if we win this one, we'd then be 12 points clear of them with three games to play. So if we beat them, we'll go up to 90. And from the remaining four games, they'll be 15 points behind. That makes sense. It makes sense. We're, if we beat Manchester City today, we win the league. That's the story. It might be a bit of an ask to head away to the Etihad and guarantee ourselves three points, but I'm up for it. We've been great this season, especially in videos. We've been fantastic. I reckon we'll do it. Let's head to the lineups, see how we stack up. Alrighty, so our West Ham United lineup for this title decider. It's Areola in goals, a back line of James Justin, Simakan, Agard, and Backer. Defensive midfield is between Locatelli and Rice. Attacking midfield is Noah Lang on the left, Gonzalo Plata on the right, and Lucas Paqueta as the number 10 in behind. 88 overall, Gianluca Scamacca. He's, I did not know he had this sort of potential. I don't know what, you know, Sophie would say, but that's, in, that's unreal, isn't it? What did he start off as? I think he started off at 81 maybe? I don't remember actually. Mm. I feel like it's pretty insane growth though. In fact, I'm gonna have a look. I'm, bear with me. All right, according to SoFIFA, I'm on SoFIFA right now on my phone. Uh, you can't see it obviously, because nah, this is an Xbox. Um, according to SoFIFA, he starts out at 80 overall and he has 86 potential. Man, I'm, I'm putting this down to Emmanuel Alguacil's management putting him all the way up to 88, and it seems like he's just gonna keep growing. Anyway, as for Manchester City, it's Edison in goal, the back line of Cancelo, Tapsova, Diaz, and Davies. Midfield three of Rodri, Gundogan, and Neves, a front three of Myers on the right, Foden on the left, and the big man, Nordic meet shield, Erling Haaland up front. Look, it's a very good lineup. I mean, I'm sure Tapsova has good potential. I'm sure he's, I think he, I think I signed him. I was doing a Leipzig career, maybe? No, Monaco. I think I was doing a Monaco career. Why did I say, I, because I was talking about Leipzig before and they're on the brain. I signed him for Monaco. I'm sure he's like 81-ish overall and probably has good potential because he's fairly young. He's also a giant, I think he's 6'4". So it's a very good purchase. It's one little, you know, grow along with Haaland and Foden and now Alfonso Davies as well, which seems a bit overkill. It seems like they're just going too hard at it, you know? Maybe I'm bitter. It's a very good lineup. It's going to be a tough challenge. They're probably the better side still, but I believe in us. I believe in myself, my own abilities, because I'm different. I'm that guy. Let's get through to, I'm sorry. Let's get through to kick off at the Etihad for a title decider. Man, the nerves are kicking in. You can tell by that stupid statement. Here we go then, as we fly over a beautiful Etihad stadium, somewhere I'm, I'm going to my first Premier League game. I've watched Premier League football since like 2000, 2001, that sort of time. I'm going to my first game in March and it's at the Etihad. I'll be in like row three. You'll probably hear more about it. Anyway, <laughs> please, guys, just a reminder to please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. If you made it this far, you must have liked something. Comment down below what you think of the video, who you think we should take on in our next career mode in or in uh, Football Manager as well. Also down in the description below is the social medias, the Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok are all down there. Plenty happening on all of them. Now let's get through it. It's a big day. It's a title deciding game away at the home of the champions. This is insane. Alrighty, we've kicked off Manchester City with the ball. We are hoping that this one will be, you know, good classic football, just like, you know, those those games against Liverpool where I absolutely struggled to contain them, but also get forward very easily and score lots of goals. Um, early here, it looks pretty impossible to get the ball off them. Gundogan doing well, Mahrez trying to slip in Haaland, who went for a weird, not, uh, oh, that's ambitious. Trying to outpace Alfonso Davies will be uh, tough. Here's Paqueta, though, in an acre of room in their midfield. Gundogan does well to get back. Backer in behind. Can he cross it? He can, but cleared well. Man, I f I'm worried already. I'm just nervous, you know, because so many of their players are just so, so good. You know, like Erling Haaland, every time he touches the ball, I, I, I feel my sphincter tightening. I don't know. 
Oh, James Justin kicks it out. Good. Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. This is going to go well. Uh, I feel it. Why is he standing there? Why can't I move? Bloody hell. That was scary. Oh, Locatelli does well there. Wins it from Gundogan. Finds Noah Lung. Look at Mick Jabaka already starting to run up. Look at him go. Or oh, played in by Noah Lung. Squares it. Goal. Mitchell Backer's legs got us that goal. Mitchell Backer is an absolute superstar. Alfonso Davies eat your heart out. I don't care about you. It's all about Mitchell Backer. The just the wheels on that man. In what could be a title deciding goal. A great run from Mitchell Backer. Well timed pass. Edison absolutely tries to kill Mitchell Backer. Don't know if you clocked that, but he absolutely rocked his socks. Squares it across for Lucas Paqueta, who gets the tap in. It's 1 0. We've had one real attack. We've scored. Absolutely elite. Lucas Paqueta with the goal. All right, that's the good stuff. We get our goal. We settle the nerves early here. And then win the ball back straight away. Beautiful to see. Skamaka. Oh, from range. Why not? Oh, okay. Well, that's probably why. How was it? Like, he has like 97 shot power. What was that? City trying to mount their first real attack. They've got it to Mares, and I'm just scared. But I shouldn't be. I've got Mitchell Backer on my team. And he's elite. He's scary good. And we're away again. It's Noah Lung with a run. Oh, not really pass on there, but he will put it out for a throw-in. So, yeah, watch out for that. I should also say, um, since the last video, uh, <laughs> this might, you know, give you a bit of a hint into what happened um, with the highlights being broken. Um, oh no, wait, Harlan's in here. He squared it, Gundogan, goal. Gundogan? Yes, Gundogan. Look, we got ripped apart. I will just say it how it is. We got ripped apart. Gundogan has equalised. We've still got work to do. We should, we need to be more... I don't know, solid defensively. I don't know what happened there. We've been absolutely ripped out of shape. Haaland squares it across to Gundogan. Who passes it past Areola for one all? I'm pissed. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm very sorry if the uh, recording is a bit weird. Um, because I've... Yeah, I had... To, wow. What the hell was that, Alfonso Davies? Just out of nowhere, just absolutely tries to... Uh, ruined Gonzalo Plata's career. It's only a yellow somehow. That was insane. Afonso, chill mate. He's up. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry if the recording's weird because between the last video I had to change hard drives and I'm like, I, you know. James Justin with the free kick. Swings it in. Can't quite win it there with, I think that was Noah Lung who was going for it. We win it back though, straight away. Simican, I think it was. Or, oh, and then we should have played him through again. Oh dear, oh dear, that was so near. Dear, oh dear, that was so, that was nice. <laughs> um, nearly, nearly uh, played their way into danger, Manchester City. Now they are in attack mode again. Alfonso Davies tackled well there by Gonzalo Plata, who, this is what we want. We want him with room in behind uh, Alfonso Davies. He can get himself into the box. He can hopefully find someone. No, well, almost, almost. Plata will now take the corner. Swing it in towards Skamaka, not a clean win, and it is cleared away by, I think that was Ruben Neves, which it's it's definitely weird to see him in a City jersey. It's just, it doesn't make sense not seeing him in a Wolves jersey anymore. Backer wins it off Mares. Backer is just elite, isn't he? He's just so good. Doesn't care who you are, he'll tackle you, he'll win the ball, he'll probably try and run away with it and, you know, assist a goal. Here's James Justin on the other wing. Bring it forward. None of our forwards are in a position to receive the ball, but now Plata makes a second run. Cuts it back. He finds Justin. Oh, nothing on. Now Rice recycles for Plata. Plata to Justin around the outside. Beautiful stuff. Cuts it back. Skamaka in the box. Goal. Beautiful football. Well done, James Justin, for the assist to Skamaka, who finesse shot into the bottom corner beyond Edison. Puts us back up 1-0. And that could be the title, gents. That could be it. The overlapping run from James Justin is fantastic. His pass back, fantastic as well. Splits, I mean, you know, threads the needle. Back to Skamaka, one touch. Passes it into the net. Beyond Edison. 
We're back up 2-1, and we need to contain them now. We need to contain them. Alrighty, 2-1. We've shown now twice, obviously, because there's two goals, that we can just absolutely slice through Manchester City, and we need to be able to continue to do it. We might hear Skamaka played through by Locatelli, saved by Edison. Maybe should have gone for the dink there again. Like, uh, who were we against? Can't remember now. One of them teams that we versed and, and beat. I don't know. The little dink over the keeper was definitely on. Why can we not select anyone near Erling Haaland? Jesus, bloody hell. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, 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 we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Okay, we're good. We're out. Mitchell back is the savior. He's now overlapping. He's playing through skimacking. What? It's back across towards Paqueta. Header. Saved. Well, that sucked at the end of, you know, just this epic counter-attack. Skamaka, long shot, saved, they blocked. Oh, and now he's tackled and it's Manchester City away again because Mitchell Backer was starting his run beyond Noah Lung uh, and we stupidly lost it. He does get back though towards Mares. Can't win the ball off him though, apparently. We do win it off Phil Kai. It's a free kick. This is not good. This is a very good position for them. Will they pass? If they pass this short, I'm absolutely running straight over the ball. Ready? He's going to pass it short. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Post. It comes off the post. Riyad Mahrez with the free kick. That was scary. All right. Not long till halftime. So I'm going to push the team up the field and we're going to thump this one down the other end. And hopefully just eke it out until halftime because I don't want to... Uh oh I don't want to concede. Right on the stroke of halftime... Foden's in. Saved. Yes, Areola. Yes, mate. That's the stuff. What a keeper. He's come up huge so many times this season. My goodness. Still have a corner to defend, but what a man. Headed not away, almost away, by uh, Agard. They've still got it, though. It's Mares on the ball. Another corner to defend. Mares again to take. This time claimed by Areola, and that's half time. Areola, you stud. What a man. That was huge. It's 200 half time. We're halfway there. We are halfway to winning the league at the home of the champions. Huge. Alrighty, second half underway. My throat's starting to hurt. I've had more beer. It's okay. I guess as this goes on, Manchester City will have to press forward to try to get back into it. And hopefully that means we have more room. We might not need it. Oh, Skamaka. Doesn't quite have room for the shot. Cancelo gets back well, and they can play out now. Gundogan will look probably upfield for Mares. Saw so back for Cancelo, who loses it. And Skamaka's in. Finish. No, another huge save. Goalkeepers in this game have, or oh, this match specifically, <laughs> have been fantastic. I mean, a huge save there for Edison. It's not his first. Areola also had a couple of huge moments at the other end. And now Manchester City are through, but well defended there. Simican tackling, I think it was Ruben Neves. Wow. What was that? Is that not a foul? What happened there? Riyad Mahrez has come off for Jack Grealish, who's on the right wing, which is just weird. Um, oh, well done, James Justin, keeping that one in. And now he's off on a run. How is that theirs? Man, if that's their throw-in, is that not a foul? Am I, in, am I crazy? Why can't I move? This is annoying. Couldn't move or switch people until after they had threw it in. EA Sports, just by the way. Just just want to point that one out. Davies in the box, tackled well. It was Declan Rice, but he's given it straight back away. Phil Foden in the box now. Back to Neves. Big save, another huge save. We almost got the block in, but Ruben Neves just about finds a way into the far corner. Not good enough to beat Areola, though, who is absolutely on top of his game. Corner for Manchester City. They'll take it short. It's Gundogan and Neves. Back to Grealish, who's inside the box, tackled by Declan Rice for another corner. Man, this is nerve-wracking. They've taken off Gundogan. Who have they brought on? Don't tell me it's De Bruyne. Taken short there. It is De Bruyne. That's good. Grealish now on the ball again. Edge of the box. Shoots. Deflected. Tap Sober chasing down Agard here is intense. Agard's meant to be like a super quick centre-back. 
He does well though, finds, oh, finds Skamaka, and Agard kept running. He's now through like a, like a winger. He's through, he'll cut it back for Skamaka. Scores, get in, it's 3-1. 3-1, thanks to Agard, our superstar center back, sprinting down the wing like a top class winger, cuts it back for Skamaka, who finds the bottom corner. I mean, some will say it was cheap, because we're just passing it back, but I don't care. I do not care. We're up 3-1. We've, we're almost there. We're almost at the league title. Incredible. Oh dear, all right. Half an hour to go. Half an hour to not concede two. City, have they changed shape? They look a bit different here, but maybe it's just because Rodri's dropped between the center backs. Oh, Neves with a very bizarre pass out there, but it, it works out. Then Cancelo back into someone for a throw in. I think it was Noah Lung. Grealish into Haaland, who. Haaland, oh, hasn't been on the end of crosses or, or on the end of chances, but he's been untackleable. Here's De Bruyne, edge of the box. Oh, well won. I think they may have changed shape because Rodri there was already back. Oh, please. Oh, yes. I, how Edison didn't come out for that, I do not know. It's Paqueta. It's 4 1. The title's ours. It is 4-1. We have won the title at Manchester City. They're starting to press forward. There's plenty of room in behind them. We found it. Paquetta is there. He scores. It's 4-1. 4-1 to West Ham. Incredible. Great ball. I think it would have been Skamaka maybe that played it. In behind Rodri, where Paquetta could get to it. Edison didn't come out for it. And with his right foot, powers it across the keeper. Nothing he could do. 4-1. Insane. All right, we've made our three changes and yep, I, yep, yep, I've brought on Cole Palmer so that he can win a league title at Manchester City for West Ham. Um, eh, you look, because I can, basically. <laughs> we've won it back there with Lee Haji, who can be played in again by, I think, Paqueta. Oh, I was looking back for Cole Palmer, but it doesn't quite work out. He's out for a throw-in. We can just walk this one through over the line now. This is amazing. Paqueta to take the corner. He swings it in towards Lee Haji. Not a clean win, but it is a clean win by Tap Sober away. Paqueta can swing it in towards Skamaka. Header. Goal. It's 5-1. It's a, is that a hat-trick? Is that not a hat-trick for Skamaka? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. I don't care. It's 5-1. I, I've lost words. I don't have words anymore. No, I don't think it's a hat-trick. Is it? I'm very confused now. <laughs> the corner gets recycled back out to Paqueta. The header from Skamaka is absolutely incredible. It's right down in the bottom corner. Nothing Edison can do. What a header. That's incredible. What a striker he is. 88 overall and just insane. Oh, man. 15 minutes to go and this is turning into an absolute riot. It's 5-1. Manchester City, I imagine, knowing FIFA, <laughs> will continue to press forward even though, like... They're clearly just getting caught out on counter-attacks and, and and where we've won. Oh, great ball from Palmer. Oh, not quite. Oh, Edison's come way out. And Skamaka into an empty net. What are you doing? Jack Grealish has been injured. What was Edison doing? Why Edison came that far out following the ball there? I'll never know. He's left Skamaka with an absolute empty net when Paqueta just lifts it back towards the middle. Watch Edison here. Why does he do this? And then stops. Doesn't even get there. Rodri can't beat Skamaka to the ball. It's an empty net from about two yards out. This is insane. That was... This is too easy. This is on legendary. How? How? This was a very close game for the first half. Second half, City have lost their goddamn minds. Don't know what's happened. I feel like they have gone to a three at the back and it's just not helping, <laughs> not helping them out at all. But at the same time, we've been brilliant. Here's Davies, Davies to Haaland, goal, surely. No, big save again. That save at the end of the first half from Areola is now looking absolutely huge because that let us go through to the second half, up another goal. There was no momentum for City. Now look at us. Hey, look at us. Corner for Manchester City, taken short again for Neves, back to Foden at the edge of the box. Foden 
turns on it, finds Rodri, who finds Haaland. Can't tackle him, of course, <laughs> but he gives it away, and now we are away. Knezovic will play it out to Palmer, of course it will. Can we get Palmer a goal? <laughs> that would be the icing on the cake for 7-1 if it could be Cole Palmer. Backer to Paqueta to Palmer. No. He gets tackled as he's about to about to finish it. And now Edison clears. Look, I was I was maybe trying to force it a little hard. I'll uh, I'll concede. <laughs> it's 85 minutes in. Grealish's injury mustn't have been too bad. He plays through Erling Haaland there. Haaland to De Bruyne, back to Haaland. Haaland on backer. That seems like an even... Uh, not not even race, even battle. Oh, and they give it away to Cole Palmer, and we are now away. Haaland goes in absolutely wildly at Palmer there, which probably the, the frustration of Palmer being bought by West Ham and not Haaland. Oh, we look for Skamaka again. No way. No words. No words. It's 7-1. I think that that's either four or five goals for Skamaka. I've lost count of who scored what. It's seven. I was about to say five. It's not even that. It's 7-1. Where are the fans? Surely West Ham would have more fans at City, especially when they're winning 7-1 and winning the title. This is incredible. That's insane. Back of fine Skamaka unmarked, volleys it into the bottom corner, beyond Edison. My throat hurts. I don't know what's happening. Only a couple of minutes to go now, and we're about to legitimately put the title out of Manchester City's reach. That, that's insane. It, he's gone up to 20 goals from 18 matches. Only playing 18 because we rotate whenever people are tired. It is what it is, man. Cole Palmer doesn't quite keep that one in. Only a couple of minutes to go until we get our hands on the trophy. I don't know if it's actually going to do the animation because I think it may still be mathematically possible. No, surely not, right? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know man. It may still be mathematically possible, but it, it's not happening. Skamaka from halfway, why not? That's probably why not because it'll go out for a goal kick with no, no harm done. Edison to take the goal kick. Man, the, what a ride this has been. What a great, great ride. Referee surely about to blow his whistle. It's time. There it is. That's full time. And how do the players celebrate? Doesn't look like it's going to be a title celebration. I don't know. Oh, oh, I don't know. Cole Palmer's losing his freaking mind. Maybe. Lots of high fiving. James Justin feels like he's won something, but he hardly contributed really in the grand scheme of things. Is there going to be a title celebration here? Come on, please. I mean, look, they are celebrating like they have. So surely, 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 surely. Apparently no title celebration, which, you know, it is what it is. We'll just raise the trophy next match. We got the scoring today underway, though, with this beautiful effort from Lucas Paqueta after a great team move. Backer squares it for Paqueta, putting us up 1-0. What a game. I'm, I'm stunned. Then right at the death, it was Mitchell Backer on the left-hand side, crossing it in for Skamaka, finding the bottom corner, making it 7-1 that we have beaten Manchester City, which is just unreal, just absolutely incredible. We've won the league in our second season. Amazing stuff, absolutely amazing stuff. What a team, what football, what a manager. Maybe, I don't know. So here is confirmation of the league table. We are up to 90 points with three games to play. Manchester City with four games to play are on 75. They can get a maximum of 87. We've won the league. We have won the league away at Manchester City, given ourselves a few games to just thrive, you know, to just vibe and hang out, get, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, get a guard of honour as we walk out, all that sort of stuff, which is just what we deserve after a fantastic season. Three losses, three draws, 29 wins. It's elite. It is elite. Thanks to that five goal haul, we're now the top scorers in the league, which we weren't previously. It was just all down to our defense, which has been sensational. And I mean, you know, it, it's been sensational. I'll say that. Next video, you'll see, I look, 99% sure it'll be the final of the Europa League. If not, it'll be Chelsea here, <laughs> and that'll be, you know, us just winning a league, running away with it, and having a bit of a vibe. I don't know, man. 
We'll see. I imagine it'll be the final though of the Europa League and that'll be a great way to sign off the series, I reckon. Let me know what you reckon we should do from here, whether we should continue a third season at West Ham and, you know, compete for a Champions League, probably win it, looking at how we've gone in Europe. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. Other options are going abroad, trying out Bundesliga or Serie A, La Liga, Liga, one of them, one of the top leagues. Or uh, maybe there's another Premier League team you'd really love to see me rebuild and take to a title. Who knows? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Leave us a like. Subscribe if you've made it this far. You have to have liked something if you got this far through the video, surely. Make sure to follow us on the social medias as well. They're in the description. And that's us. That's it done. Thank you very, very much for watching. And until next time, when we go again to win something, peace.